If you have checked out my older videos, you'll know that I like to tinker around with Wiimotes. First, I constructed a clip and handgun thing out of plastic bits, including parts of a Konomi Justifier and an M&M's mini tube. Next, I made a cardboard and popsicle stick clip in that resembled an assault rifle. Yep. The third design was a solid wood clip in. I constructed the holder and the B lever, but stopped there as there was much easier methods. The fourth design was another clip in that was going to be folded corrugated plastic and would only be three parts, including the trigger and the trigger wire. I made the paper mock-ups, but never actually built it, which is funny, because it would probably have worked. Yeah. My new design is going to be an entirely new direction. I have decided to put my electronic skills to work and solder replacement buttons onto the Wii mode. These I can move around to wherever I want. The main buttons I'm concerned with for now are the A, B, and the directional pad. And of course, I will need the sensor for aiming. Later, I may add a laser sight for fun. I think the new concept is much improved over the old one. I also plan to make an arcade-style joystick later. One, two, A, joystick, plus and minus, and a wand for the sensor, which will be generally unneeded for the arcade stick. And later, I can incorporate a virtual controller. Here's what we have so far. These are the signal pads for the buttons. One pole of the switches, or buttons, will connect to these. These are the ground pads. They are common, so any are valid to connect to for the other switch pole. I mask these areas for extra security against bridging or shorting. This is the A button. We did the B button previously. It's more of a fast acting switch. And the directional pad is already attached. Alright, so there's my one lead as it's gonna be. I don't know what ground I'm gonna tie to yet, so I'll just make a general lead on this one. I don't like that very much this piece of cardboard in there. I think we can get a shot over here. Yep, I'm picking that up. Alright. We're good. I just need one more piece of tape here. Alright, I suppose we should maybe start recording. We've been at it for... Oh, nice. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to mask everything but the pad I want to get here with the B here. Oh, geez, that's over too much. There, okay. So I've just masked those other three, and mm -hmm. just I'm going to get that fourth. And that just makes life a little easier in the sense that I don't have to worry too much about bridging. A bit of flux on the pad. Not a lot of it sticking there. There we go. I'm gonna tin the pad. I'm going to tin the wire and give it a bit of flux. A little bit of extra solder on there. And I need to aim at that a little better. Corners are well wetted. Oh, gee, what the hell? <clears throat> Ooh, almost lost my switch there. <laughs> so that's the B side done. I'll take out this plastic rubber nub thing that just fell out there. 
And that way, should be able to clip this back on with relative ease. Or not. I think it's this stuff here that's stopping me. Oh no, it's this hole up here and that stuff there. Okay, so what I've taped this is actually bugging us. Oh, Jesus Christ, you're way out of here. So there we go. There's our live wire for B. Now we need to attach to ground wire for B. I'm just going to leave that alone and attach the ground wire on the top side. Now you'll be able to clearly see the, uh, the directional pad as it's set up, and that's that's wired over to here. Wired over to here. <coughs> So let's see, where am I going to put this ground? I believe... I'm just going to use the share the A ground here. We'll wire the... We're actually going to wire the A in right now anyway, so let's go ahead and tin both of the A's together. So the white's going to be the ground for A, the yellow is the ground for B. I'm just going to twist those together. And I'm trying to shape my little loops here to the approximate size of the pads. Didn't do so hot with the B button, but oh well. Tinning. I was trying to put the screen hose up over the tent like it was a fly. <laughs> I'm like, what's this? Why isn't this working? I don't know what it holds. <laughs> nice. You can always clear that audio out. So now we're going to tin the ground for A. And again, all the buttons share common ground. 